And finally, we had some time in our schedule to be doing Omega Gaming here. I'm so happy that you guys stay tuned. Twitch.tv slash Omega Gaming. I know that's been a while since we've been doing gameplay, but we are live here. This is Xbox, and here today, we're here to play a very awesome game that receives an 8.7 from IGN, a 90% from Metacritic, and an 8 out of, 9, 8 out of 10 from um, GameSpot. So, so excited for today, as you guys can see all the games, but we're here to play, you guessed it, Sonic Mania. So, this game I anticipated on playing for the longest, Sega! simply because everybody said that this was a kick-ass game. So, I went to see what the hype was about, and now, I'm finally playing it. So, you see it right, ladies and gentlemen, Omega Gaming, we're playing Sonic Mania, received, you know, some great awards for, you know, like the best classic Sonic game ever, so I wanted to see what the hype was about. It says this game uses the autosave feature, okay. So, here we are, the menu. Very, very nice and crisp. I do want to talk about the options too because I want to make sure I have the option to see how my video experience is. So I'll just go through the screen filter. I don't really see the difference between none and clean, so we're going to just stick to clean. I wonder what these menus mean. I think one of them is multiplayer, but I wonder what this, like, one of these are. So, they have extras. We're going to go through the extras later on. Of course, you can play as Sonic and Tails. Knuckles, Tails, or just Sonic. So, for this, we're going to go just Sonic and Tails because every gameplay is doing this. So, we're just going to go ahead and get started. So much nostalgia into this. It's like Sonic 3. And of course, I'm gonna be toggling with the volume, y'all, so don't worry. So, within the game, I really do like how they incorporated a, like, a little story mode here. So I'm just talking with the, uh, the controls here, because I haven't played an old classic Sonic game in some years now, so let me see, let me see if I still got it. I haven't played a game like this in some time now. I know Gaming Bros, we did, uh, Sonic 2, it was me versus Ryan Jordan. So we're going to try to, if it fits in our schedule, we're going to try to, um, we're going to try to um, do a gaming bro session over Sonic Mania because I heard that this game came with a multiplayer again. Why not start the, uh, oh gosh. I don't, oh, this part I hate. I still got it though. So the goal here for this special stage is the more blue balls you collect, um, the faster Sonic becomes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yep, still, I still, I still got it, y'all. Oh shit. Oh, I had it for a minute, but that that was actually exciting because it just reminds me of my childhood. Let me tell you, it all started when my big brother, Alex P, had got um, Say Genesis for the first time, and I think this was the first Sonic game that he had ever played. Then once he passed it down to me and my brother, we started to, darn, we started to play, damn, we started to play uh, Sonic, the first one, and now, then once the second one came out, me and my brother played that a lot. Back when we were younger, it was like, what, like early 2000s, the 1990s era, kind of. 
that's when video games, when we thought video games back then were cool, and now we're playing all this new style of video gaming, but, you know, this just really, it really brings back nostalgia, so, I heard that, the, here's a new special stage, I'm trying to remember how this is made, so you collect the blue balls to go faster, and if I'm not mistaken, you collect the rings to gain more time. Now, I don't know if collecting this stuff is very important, like the Chaos Emeralds at the end, because I do, I mean, there is a spell, there is a supersonic mode on here, so. So, this is actually pretty new. I mean, they really designed this up really well. Because this is, you know, this is like the first time they're implementing a cool story mode like this before. So I want to try to collect uh, the Chaos Emeralds. They made it easy for collectors to, to people to get the Chaos Emeralds too, so I really do like how easy it is. And I got it. Just like that. So they really made that easy. Because <laughs> back when I was little, I could never collect the Chaos Emeralds, but they made it they made it easy this this shit this in this game. So as you guys can see, the background is just so different. This is what I wanted to see in person. That background just is completely different. This is like something new that they implemented in the game because this was not in, of course, this was not in the first Sonic game. So here's the first boss. I'm so excited to see how, oh, this game mechanic. I really do like the music for the boss too. Oh shoot. I really do like how the when you drop the rings, it has that 3D effect. So as you, just like that, made easy. Darn. So of course I do know with some of the uh, bosses they're gonna get a little bit harder throughout the game. And you know, props out to the the composer for the music of this game because it's beautiful. Just make sure it, it sounds like you're about to explore a magical world or something. You got a nice little zip line going. This song actually has like a mix of the Sonic CD songs as well. As you guys can pick up a copy of this game for, they had it for twenty dollars right now. So I, I think that's not that's a good deal for a game, kind of like this. Twenty dollars. I mean, I can go and I go and get some snacks with that kind of money. So I, you know, I will. Um, I would be glad to spend you know twenty dollars for a game like this because, you know, when you're a true fan. You really get the mechanic style of it. And you really appreciate a rocking good game like this. As I get an extra life, I'm going to be needing to collect a lot, a lot like that. Because I tell you, Ocean, uh, Old Ocean is a stage in here. Darn. Is a stage in, in this game that I seriously died so many times on. So. And once you buy the game, if you got it for Xbox, because this is the Xbox version, you can get it, again, for $20, and then the upload process is very fast. Granted that this game doesn't take a lot of space, but... Okay, so this is a new thing for this game. This boss was actually in... Uh -oh. Ah, 
Shit. Shit. It's a good thing I got Tails because he's collecting the rings that I'm losing. Damn. Just like that, I died. So, Lucas Niche fans and Omega Gaming fans, I'm gonna die in this gameplay, so bear with me. Because, again, it's, it's been a while since I played a game like this. So it's all about strategy. It's all about strategy into this game. Shit, that was a good opportunity, but... It's always so hard, because you have to, like, use his arm to get him. Just gotta collect these rings. Collecting rings is always important, Lucas Lynch fans. That's one thing I just learned in, this, in to any Sonic game, just collect rings, you know? <laughs> when in doubt, you get them. And we got- oh shit, I died. Ah, oh, I had it, but then I died. Again, I had him beat and then I died. So that that's actually a first, I believe. Sorry, just make sure we're recording right. So I'm not going to risk it, because I have zero rings as of now. Now I got three. Again, it's all, it's all about strategy when you're playing this type of game. Because it's so easy. So easy to die. It's all about taking a chance, ladies and gentlemen. This is why I got Tails on my on my side, cause he's he's gonna he's gonna help me fight. So smart decision. Now I am gonna do a gameplay where I just have just like knuckles or something. But for my first time playing Sonic Mania, okay. Oh shit! What happened to him? Oh, I died again. So it seems like I gotta kill him before I run out of road, it looks like. So I'm gonna try my best this time. The third time's the charm. Lucas H fans. I gotta kill him before I run out of road. Ah shit. I just gotta take my chance and just go for it. So Taking chances, that was a dumb chance, but I just gotta collect rings first before I get too happy, cuz. Taking my chance here. Ah oh, shit. Got him. Yeah. Got it. So again, third time to charm. I'm sorry, Lucas Nature fans, that I suck at video games, but I got it. So now he's just gonna jump on down. 
So we got a nice little cutscene right here. Those seem like the new bosses in this game. And now we're getting moved to somewhere else. I really like the little animation they're doing. So we're at Chemical Plant, Nostalgia to Sonic 2. We're really going in for Sonic Mania. Oh man. Nostalgia mode. That's something new. You choose where you want the pipe to go. You got the little blue french fries is what we called it when we were young. The blue french fries. And just like that, I'm in the water. I hate when I'm going to the water because now I gotta find some air before I die. So let's see how that goes. There we go. I always hated this part in the game because I, you know, I always die when it comes to light underwater. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pace myself a little bit and then I'm gonna get rolling. Ugh, going down to this water again. Ooh, that was close. Oh, hi, Dad and Dang in the thing. Oh, I'm stuck. Well, this is something new. The first game glitch of the... I'm stuck in the fight. So now I gotta restart. So, again, that's actually something new. Uh minor glitch in the game, but well, it's all good. I went to go a different route anyway, so. Comment below, look at fans, if you're enjoying Omega Gaming's version of Sonic Mania, let me know, you know. We wanted to make the investment of $20, again, not too bad for this type of game. Essentially, this is kind of like a new game to me because, you know, even though the, the soundtrack sounds familiar, they really redesigned how the game layout is. They have a different perspective into the game. They added like a little story mode to it, so that's always cool to see. This game wasn't just, you know, a game where they just design a level and then you're playing Sonic and you're just, you know, you're just playing, so... Let's see if there's somewhere else I need to go. Ooh, that's close. Ooh. They, re or they really redesigned how this game layout is. Even though some of the levels, like this level, is kind of similar, and they go into a same. I'm gonna go a different route. Yes. Okay, so again, same stage, but different. Different boss, you know, completely different boss. Oops. And I like the music, it's just so like jazzy, you know. Oh, 
talk shit. Ah, oh, shit. Just so, so jazzy though. I, I like how the song is. Completely missed. This game is tedious, but you have to love it, y'all. Damn, I, I keep missing the boss. <laughs> And just like that, that boss is beat. So, <laughs> I, I don't want to say I suck, but I suck. Now, why do I feel like this stage is going to be a little bit harder? And again, here's that element I was talk talking to you guys about. Look how different this game just looks. This stage is like, this is completely redesigned stage and I, I love it because it's just Christian Whitehead and, and the crew they really worked so hard on this game and I can tell they did because they really those they're gonna be working for Sega for a long time that's all I gotta say because they brought the element of a great game really different new design it's awesome again stay tuned possibly this weekend gaming bros come back and we're going to be playing the sonic mania multiplayer that's what we want to do Brother vs. Brother and an iconic classic to reminisce how he, okay so the blue stuff is bad it's to reminisce how uh, when we played Sonic 2 of course I believe I won that challenge Okay, so there's something else I, I've noticed. The blue rings, I don't really know what it is. I think it's like a, a like a saver or some or some some kind. Just so cool how they implemented this game. Just so redesigned and different. I love it. I really do like how they don't make this game easy. <laughs> um, either that or just suck, but you know, they don't make this game easy. And you know, you don't want a game that's too easy. Love the music too. The music is just fantastic. Okay, now we got a special stage. Again, the special stage is very new. And what you gotta do 
Because Sonic doesn't stop. You know, you're running. He doesn't stop. That Sonic doesn't stop, he really doesn't stop. It's almost like hard to control. It's okay. It's all good. We'll come back and get that one. But that's it's really fun because you know Sonic just he doesn't stop. He just he's gonna keep going. Once we get an achievement. Well, superstar. So here we are to the boss. We have to play the the Bean Mean Machine, if I'm not mistaken. Honestly, I don't remember how, how I would play this game, so we'll, we'll see what I got going. So you kind of have to just pace yourself and connect. colors together. Shit. Again, this kind of, I mean, it's reminiscing. <laughs> Being Mean Machine, I haven't played this game in some years, you know? Again, we're playing Robotnik's Bean Mean Machine. That is what we're playing now for a boss. I mean, these people, they really, they... It's like the easiest boss I ever, ever played. So this is the stage I was looking forward to because this was well crafted. This is a brand new Sonic stage is Studiopolis. And I've been waiting to play this stage since because this... This was different. So this is a brand new stage that they designed. Um, Will we see this in future Sonic games? We're not too sure, you know? But... 
This was well crafted. I like how crafted they, they crafted this stage and it's so new. Interested in introducing it this in this game and it sticks, you know. And it has that classic feel. As I get an extra life, thank God, because I'm gonna I was gonna need it. And now this seems like, uh, yeah, this is a mini boss. So, this is like a high speed, this is like a great crafted shit. Very well crafted. Shit, I died. I was gonna say, this is a very well crafted boss, but eh, I died. <laughs> so, this says a lot. So you gotta hit the blue, so the blue can hit the uh, guys up there. Again, very crafted, really good crafted boss. I like bosses where you're running and fighting as well. You know, Sonic Unleashed, they did something similar to this on their, their bosses, but this crafted in a in a in a nineties feel. Kinda reminds me of like the Sonic and Knuckles boss, the very first Sonic and Knuckles boss that you fight. Implements that a little bit. Ah. Woo! Almost got it. Yeah. Just not tuning in to Mega Gaming. Welcome. We're playing Sonic Mania. The shit, I missed it. Shit, I died. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna die. You know, I like to produce. Uh, time attack, we just unlocked. So that's probably one of them. Prepare to challenge competition is now unlocked. Gonna see if, um, gonna see if, um, Ryan's gonna be interested in that. So the competition is the one player, one player versus two player. So let's just say if I were to have my extra Xbox one controller. So let's just say if I'm Sonic. I really do like how they announce the name too, so y'all just just listen to it. Really, really cool. Really, really cool how they announce the name. It sounds like Aaron Weber. That's what it sounds like. So again, competition mode, let's just say that we go four rounds and now you see that we get to play with all the other stages in the game. So that's really, really cool. So then you have your time attack, which is, you know, your your basic time attack. 
Of course, you can only play with the, um, there's a lot of stages too. Of course, you can only use the ones that you unlocked. So that's really cool. Just gonna turn off the controller real quick. Curious to see what the extra, oh, okay, so this is the extra stuff that you have to unlock, I guess. So that's pretty much it for, you know, for, for the Sonic Mania. You know, it's very, very basic, very, very simple. So hopefully you guys uh, stay tuned for the series this weekend of Sonic Mania. Of course, we're going to expand on the controller, uh, expand more on the um, videos. We're going to split it up into parts. So hopefully this has been a great introductory for you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next gameplay.